No one wants to hear you talk, Charlie. I mean, you think of yourself as this modern day alpha male philosopher? Well, you're just a spoiled, rich trust fund kid that parrots back bad TED Talks. Yeah, they're bad! I called 911. They have your name. They're tracking my location and they're on their way right now. What, are you still gonna go through with this? You're gonna get caught, Charlie. Sure. But there's a difference between getting caught and being convicted. You don't get to do this to me and get away with it. <gasps> What do you have to say for yourself? I don't care, Charlie. I don't care. Kill me if you want, but you, you do not get to murder me and play the victim. I am the victim. Are you kidding me? You no, know, the victim of your abandonment, neglect. My... After I gave you everything, the romantic surprises, the trips, the emotional support. Are you forgetting the jealousy? Are you forgetting the stalking, the holes in my wall, the bruises? Will you push me there? Look, how am I supposed to feel when you would rather spend 100 hour weeks with disgusting sick people than with me? But you are so addicted to the validation that you get at work. I am not. What you will never understand, Charlie, is that some people do things for other things besides validation. I work my fucking ass off so that my mom, your mom? can have a better life. It's not for your mom. God, how many times did I see you ignore her calls? You see, the truth is, and Do not call me that. You've convinced yourself that you work so much to be a good daughter, that it actually makes you a fucking horrible one. A horrible daughter and a completely neglectful partner to me. This is what you do, Charlie. You find what hurts in people. And then, and then, and then you use it like a weapon. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs>